So needless to say, this entire situation has been wilder than Johnny Sin's movies, no ditty. But now the situation is unfolding even more because this past week has been insane for all the scholars. Mudahar saying he needs to be deplatformed, right? We covered that. Tim the Tatman, Nick Merckx, both of them reacting uh, reacted to the entire situation, which we covered in the last video as well. And both of them are saying, hey, we cannot defend Doc. And now we got Moist Critical washing his hands as well. And, and yeah, everybody's talking talking about it the, i mean oh my god like this happened before we could find out whether or whether or not we alone in the universe or not like the video if you think we're not alone in the universe dislike the video if you think we're alone in the universe but check this roll it oh what a crazy day this has been so yeah. i'm sure pretty much all of you that clicked on this video already know about what's happened with the doctor disrespect situation those that don't know those that know those that know, man, roll, man, that's roll, though. To catch you up to speed with the briefest previously on Dragon Ball Z recap, Dr. Disrespect was the face of Twitch. In 2020, he was mysteriously banned from the platform and not a peep had ever been uttered about yeah. why. This was a secret more guarded than the Krabby Patty formula. I really thought we'd never know the reason that Dr. Disrespect was banned. I thought they'd be taken to the grave. I thought we'd crack faster than light travel before we ever learned what the reason behind it was. Yeah, but I, I thought that we would find out whether we're alone in the universe or not. And I guess we kind of did in our way, right? Because there's a lot of news on that. Guys, if you're into aliens, UFOs, and conspiracies, check out the second channel. This is where we cover all of that. But before we get into this one, right, uh, it's very, very important important and listen it, it is it is though the only question a lot of people are uh, of course there are a lot of questions people are having and you guys are also having but the one the question that i see that is fair that i also see you constantly put in my videos and on other videos th this is the question that i'm seeing being put everywhere and it's fair right that's why and the question is that did doc know about the age at the time of uh, texting a minor inappropriately now doc himself said he was texting a minor inappropriately right later on he removed the word minor but our cameramen were there and they caught it in 4k so that happened too which is just doesn't m make doc look good in this scenario at all but is it is it true he knew the age at the time or not we, we want to know that but wait for it but then from out of nowhere on just an average quiet friday night a former Twitch employee dropped a bombshell allegation claiming that yeah. Dr. Disrespect was banned due to sexting a minor through the Twitch Whisper service. Now, there was never any screenshots or evidence provided to support that claim. However, some other parties came forward saying that they had all heard a similar reason behind the ban. Dr. Disrespect then made a response to that statement which was less than satisfactory for most people with a functioning frontal lobe because he talked very vaguely about it and didn't yeah, actually yeah, yeah, outright yeah. deny the claim yeah. at all. So yeah, they initially Doc was like, hey, I, I, I cannot talk about it legally, uh, right? That's what I was, he was saying and he was constantly saying no wrongdoing, no wrongdoing, no wrongdoing. That happened, and today he broke silence completely. I, I guess the reason he broke completely, I'm not sure if he's gonna be in legal trouble or not, because he was kept saying that I cannot, you know, legally, I, I'm not allowed to say this or that, while people were saying, how hard is it to just come out and say you were not texting a minor inappropriately, right? And, and today he just did, and, and uh, yeah, like, a lot of people are like, so does that mean that you're gonna be in legal trouble now? right because in a way you're break breaking perhaps an nda that you signed I, I don't know or maybe there was no nda maybe he could have just said it but of course like he don't want to say it nobody would want to say it even if they're caught doing that crap right like yeah exactly so no pd would actually come out and say that they're not right but doc is like uh he didn't and he said that legally uh, i can't and I believe the pressure really, really so much because everybody's covering it. Bloomberg also came out with a report earlier and right after that he posted the statement. I, I believe it's because of the Bloomberg and the, the credibility that they hold is because of that. Yeah, it, it, absolute insane turn of events that we're seeing right now. Holy crap, this is gaming. This is the, the, the peak gaming news right now that's going around. Then he made a follow-up statement which aimed to provide a little more clarity, but it was still pretty vague and both of these seemed to have like a lot of legalese talk to him to try like kind of tiptoe around the topic itself so both of his responses like the tweets weren't received overly well it was like he just kept stepping on a rake like in a cartoon and hitting himself in the face he wasn't doing himself favors with his statements but 
then the credibility of the source of behind this allegation started to be called into question because people did digging through their Twitter and found out Selling they'd actually tickets. been dangling this carrot in front of their audience about they know the reason Dr. Disrespect's been banned and if you buy tickets to their concert, they might reveal it. So then people started to question that. And then today, Dr. Disrespect released another statement uh -oh, uh -oh. where he admitted to the claim yeah, 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 of yeah, 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 yeah. talking to a minor through yeah, yeah, yeah. Twitch whispers inappropriately. Yeah. However, he denies that there was any real intent behind the messages, which is a crazy thing to say. Like, if any of you have watched To Catch a Predator, you'll recognize that tactic, that, that little maneuver right there, because that's something that was pretty frequent on that show. When a predator went down and talked with Chris Hansen, a lot of them said that same thing pretty yeah. much. Like, yeah, oh. it, it's like n none of the people that would actually get a, would be caught with a cupcake EDP uh, uh, reference there, uh, but, but n no one right that's caught they would just say no Diddy, no Diddy. That that's what they would say right. They would not acknowledge it. They would just not acknowledge it and they would say nah, their intentions were not bad. Now listen, I I don't know what what happened. People are bringing up hey, and, and it's a fair question. Did Doc know about the edge or not? People also say, hey, can we see the chat logs? Because we want to see what was being exchanged there. Because Doc said no photos, none of that happened, okay? But he claims, uh, but he still admits that he was messaging a minor inappropriately. Later on, removes the word minor. Doesn't look good on Doc's behalf, uh, right? So, on Doc's, right, on Doc's behalf, what am I saying? On Yeah, doesn't look good on Doc. And people are like, we want to see the chat logs because we want to see like what was being exchanged. But but that's disgusting though, right? Like if we we don't know what he was saying in that. Oh no no no! I didn't mean any of that. I was actually just teaching them a lesson about talking to strangers and the dangers of it. There was never any real intent behind the things that were said. Like that's a very weird thing to try and say. So let's just go through his statement first, though. The Twitch ban. Hello, I'd like to make a statement. Let's cut the bullshit. As you know, there's no filter with me. I've always been upfront and real with you guys on anything that I can be upfront about, and I'm always willing to accept responsibility, which is why I'm here now. First and foremost, I do want to apologize to everyone in my community, as well as those close to me, my team, and everyone at Midnight Society Game Studio. For those that don't know, I, I forgot to mention this in my like lore exposition on this. His company that he founded, Midnight Society Game Studio, which had been working on a game with him for a long time, yeah, they part announced yesterday that they were going to be terminating him after they. Yeah, which which is absolutely insane, right? Because uh, Robert Balling, we covered that previously. So Robert Balling behind the game that Doc was making, right? So they come out and they say that yeah, we're parting ways. And Robert Balling himself just literally said that hey, we we cannot work with you, Doc. We really can't work with you, uh, and, and we're parting ways. So Doc got fired from his own studio, from his own game, which is insane, absolutely insane. So that game, that project is kind of like dead in the water. They conducted an investigation, and after they assumed his innocence, found something through their investigation that made them uncomfortable keeping him around, so they let him go. So that's why he's mentioning them here. A lot of people have been left in the dark about what happened yesterday with Midnight Society and I, and we made the painful decision collectively to have me step down. Our team is full of incredibly talented and good people that have high career ambitions and families. I'd never want to jeopardize the culture we have carefully crafted. Now, before getting into the rest of this, I do want to mention, Midnight Society themselves said that he was terminated. Here he's saying that he stepped down like it was a mutual decision. Yeah. I don't know if this is like a you can't fire me, I quit type of situation. You know, turn in the badge and the gun and go your separate way as a lone wolf, or... What? Like, there's just a bit of a discrepancy whether he was terminated by Midnight Society or if he or, himself yeah. and them left on good terms where he agreed to step down. Ultimately, the point is, he's no longer associated with... Yeah, wild, right? But they say terminate, and and of course, like, we got Robert Balling says, that if you inappropriately, inappropriately message a minor, I cannot work with you, period. I promise to only act on facts, and I did. So it doesn't sound like that that they parted ways or Dr. Disrespect is stepping down mutually, but... I, I think from his perspective, maybe he is because to me, okay, I, I don't know what is happening behind the scenes with Doc and the studio, right? I'm thinking like legally he owns it. He's like co-owning it, right? So I'm assuming like he at least owns it 50%, maybe even more than 50%, right? And, and Robert Balling, probably 50% ownership, right? So in a way, like if, yeah, right? Like if Doc does not step down, then it's like maybe Robert Balling would step down and other workers would step down d depending on if they want to or not that's gonna be their decision not mine uh, you, you know what I mean right but but uh, but but like I, I feel like that doc in that aspect perhaps mutually accepted the offer and he's like okay I'm just gonna leave 
maybe he could have chose to stay but if he cho if he chose to stay then of course like I, I think robert balling would have stepped down or maybe not maybe not and it's one of those things right if robert balling decided to stay and docs decided to stay then i guess it would have been like they, they would be fighting a court uh, in court they would be fighting in court about it the badge and the gun and go your separate way as a lone wolf or if he himself and them left on good terms where he agreed to step down ultimately the point is he's no longer associated with, with that studio anymore after they conducted their own investigation into the subject yeah, everyone insane. has been wanting to know why i was banned from twitch but for reasons outside of my control i was not allowed to say anything for the last several years now that two former twitch employees have publicly disclosed the accusations i can now tell you my side of the story regarding the ban were there twitch whispered messages with an individual minor back in 2017 the answer is yes were there real intentions behind these messages the answer is absolutely not these were casual, mutual conversations that sometimes leaned too much in the direction of being inappropriate, but nothing more. Nothing illegal happened, no pictures were shared, no crimes were committed, I never even met the individual. I went through a lengthy arbitration regarding a civil dispute with Twitch, and that case was resolved by a settlement. Let me be clear, it was not a criminal case against me, and no criminal charges have ever been brought against me. Now, the doc actually edited this statement twice. So initially, he posted it with the word minor in it, saying, were there messages with an individual minor? The answer is yes. But then shortly after he published it, he edited the word minor out of it. So he <clears throat> removed that, he redacted it like a fucking yeah. CIA document, trying to bury it, just snapping it out of existence. So yeah, but but we had our cameraman right there and they caught it. So the cameraman over on Twitter, they caught him in 4K. Then it read, were there messages with an individual? The answer is yes. But people were quick to notice the edit. And you can actually check edit history on Twitter, which I didn't know you can do. But you could clearly see that the original no longer match the current one because he took the word minor out so when people caught him red-handed he just edited it one more time to put the word minor back into mm -hmm. it now there yeah, is a wild. lot to say about just and some people are saying that bro you could have just deleted that tweet not i'm not saying that he should have done that that's what people are saying bro you could have deleted that tweet and, and put out a new tweet without that word right because you removed it cameramen were still there on site they caught you in 4k and then you had to re-put it there because it made you look bad and doing that made you look extra bad but uh, there's no excuse for that behavior there's literally zero excuse for that but of course right we we gotta be fair in this one the fair response would be hey there's no excuse for it uh, and yeah that's me being fair that's a lot of people being fair but but still right like I, I don't watch Doc's uh, streams that much, but whenever I do, it's entertaining. I have to agree. He, he had made a very good character as well. The good, uh, the question that everybody has, and fair, right? Like, w did Doc know about the age or not, though? W what are your thoughts on that? It's that small chunk right there, but I'm going to finish reading the statement first before we really dive into the weeds of it. Now, from uh -oh. a moral standpoint, uh -oh. I'll absolutely take responsibility. I should have never entertained these conversations to begin with. That's on me. That's on me as an adult, a husband, and a father. It should have never happened. I get it. I'm not perfect, and I'll fucking own my shit. This was stupid. Now, with all this said... Don't get it mistaken, I've seen all the remarks and labels being thrown around so loosely. Social media is a destruction zone. I'm no predator or pedophile, are you kidding me? Anyone that truly knows me knows where I stand on these things with those type of people. Fuck that. That's a different level of disgust that I hate even hearing about. Don't be labeling me as the worst of the worst with your exaggerations. Get the fuck out of here with that. But I think I said what I needed to say regarding the ban itself. That's it. That's why Twitch made the decision in 2020. To my team, community, industry friends that have supported me, I apologize. I wish I could have said all this sooner. You guys have always shown me and my family love and support throughout all these years. We love you guys like you can't imagine. I have the best community in circle. If any of this has made you uncomfortable, I get it. You don't have to support me anymore, but just know you've always been greatly appreciated. Trust me when I say this to all my haters that live and breathe social media with zero real life experience. I don't give a fuck about you. Finally, if you're uncomfortable with this entire statement and think I'm a piece of shit, that's fine. I'm not going anywhere actual wolf of wall street energy i'm not fucking leaving and i'm not the same guy that made this statement all those years ago i'm taking an extended vacation with my family as mentioned on stream and i'm coming back with a heavy weight off my shoulders they want me to disappear yeah fucking right he tries to close this statement with a really hard cheesy 80s action movie one-liner they want me to disappear yeah fucking right granny shifting not double clutching like you should you're lucky you didn't blow the welds off the intake i'm not leaving it's really kind of ridiculous to put that there with accusations like this these are super serious like uh, this yeah. isn't something yeah. people take lightly at all in his own statement he has openly admitted to messaging a minor and had conversations that were inappropriate or yep. as he said leaned into being inappropriate now, what's not clear and what a lot of people are coping with is that maybe Dr. Disrespect didn't know the age of the person he yeah, was communicating yeah, with. Yeah. But I truly feel if that he was knows. the case, Dr. Disrespect would have mentioned that, saying, 
that he had those communications with this person that he believed was of age but turned out to uh maybe he didn't see everybody response about it maybe he didn't see twitter saying that uh, i didn't know the age but man it's still like like uh, I, okay so he's saying that's coping and yeah fair fair but i still think it's a fair question and it's valid to know whether he n knew about the age or not and also the chat logs right yeah right what was exactly said in it what was exactly said in it be a minor i think if that was the reality of that situation if he truly communicated with someone that he thought was of age but turned out to be a minor i think he would have mentioned that in this statement but he didn't True. he didn't say that he was under the impression he was communicating with an adult he just says that he had conversations with an with an individual minor he doesn't say anything like oh they were actually one day away from being 18 or i really thought they were you know in their 20s or anything like that and i think if that was what happened it would have been mentioned here i really do but there's no mention of that so it's hard to give that benefit of the doubt that he didn't know because i think he would have mentioned if that was the case i also think it's pretty telling that some of the closest people to dr disrespect are coming forward saying how unacceptable it was in distancing themselves from him because if he didn't know that he was communicating with a minor he probably would have told them at the very least but they're not saying that yeah. either so here's robert bowling one of his business partners here saying if you inappropriately message a minor i cannot work with you period i promise to only act on facts and i did so i just yeah, really don't holy. think there's a whole lot of wiggle room about doc not knowing that he was communicating with a minor like i feel holy like there's man. been plenty of opportunities holy like this entire situation is absolutely insane saying like holy crap like this came out of nowhere you guys gotta understand like seven years ago okay that's when i'm allegedly not allegedly it happened doc confirmed it holy crap right 2017 he messages 2020 gets banned i guess that's when and, and twitch we found out that they apparently made a policy two days before i covered that in the last video so june 20 uh, june 24 2020 that's when twitch makes a policy about it that they're gonna pursue and they're gonna do all that and apparently like i covered that part in the last video so i don't want to stay on this one for too long so they makes a policy and two days later on june 26 bans doc bans doc from the platform 2021 doc claims almost around that time that okay now he knows the reason because initially he said back when he was banned in 2020 he said he didn't know the reason 2021 he says the reason and 2022 he wins the lawsuit two years after now in 2024 uh, this gets leaked out and then he acknowledges it he admits it and uh here we are now for that information to have come out from somewhere but nobody is saying that other than people theorizing and hoping that maybe that's the case but doc himself has never said that that was a possibility he never even hinted that he didn't know the person's age and the people closest to him aren't saying that either so i really think that it's likely that he did know that and he still had these conversations that leaned to being inappropriate with someone he knew to be a minor which is fucking disgusting now there are people yeah. still defending this saying well he didn't go to jail for it so what's the big deal can't wait for the next stream doc firm handshakes like there's people that are just dismissing this as not a big deal which is insanity i think that is pure lunacy i can't fucking believe some of what i'm reading here yeah. from people that are just right listen man i i also if you guys have seen the videos like i was the first guy to say bro like we need proof right we definitely need proof how many times you've seen people being accused and there are false allegations uh, it, it ruins uh reputation right oh absolutely right gotta be fair with this one whether you like like dr disrespect whether you're a fan or not because a lot of people don't like him and we found out that twitch didn't like him that that was that was also a factor for them to go back to his past and you know do all that and the ex twitch employee the, he don't like doc at all right he don't uh, like the, the the fact that he's taking stance against uh, the woke mafia right so yeah absolutely there was some witch hunt but the thing is that doc admitted it and doc's behavior is completely inexcusable i'm not signing with the the woke mafia here okay yeah come on now man not every game needs to be woke not every movie needs to be woke we have talked about it on the channel yeah absolutely it destroys the the art it destroys the game and, and leave the kids alone I'm, I'm saying that on the side of doc and i'm also saying that on the side of the woke mafia as well because yeah they're, they're trying to like get the kids indoctrinated to that crap but also it's fair it's absolutely fair because doc admitted it and there is no excuse for doc's behavior in this one either getting this off is not a big deal because it's a streamer they like an adult communicating inappropriately with a minor is bad full stop it's inexcusable no matter how you spin it that is a horrible thing now 
He may not have met up with the miner in question. However, was that his decision? Was he the one that decided not to meet up with him? Because with the information that's been come out, now, again, keep in mind, we don't have access to the, the chat log, like the conversations that took place, but from all the sources that have come out from like Bloomberg and all of that, it sounds like the conversation they had did talk about meeting up at TwitchCon. So that right there shows pretty real intent to meet Holy. up with this person. And who knows, maybe it was the miner that ultimately got uncomfortable with this whole thing and called it off, not the doc. We, we don't know for sure. And, and Bloomberg also said that they reported, somebody reported, that's how Twitch found out about it, right? That's when they went back. I'm not sure if that's 100% true or not, but that's the official statement from Bloomberg. I guess they spoke with the with Twitch employees, uh, former maybe, perhaps current employees, don't know, okay? But that's the official response coming from Bloomberg saying that somebody reported the incident and that's when they went back, investigated, and yeah, they banned. This is why it took them three years. We covered that in the in the last video, which I will link you in a second. Sure, the only thing we do know for sure with what the doc just confirmed is that he was talking inappropriately with a minor, which is a terrible, terrible thing. And even his closest friends are saying they can't defend it, it's inexcusable. And they're right, it is inexcusable. But there are still people trying to defend it, as pathetic as that is. And Dr. Disrespect claims that he's going to come back at some point. And I have no oh. doubt when he does, he's still going to have a massive audience. I, I can already tell, based on the amount of people jumping through hoops trying to find ways of justifying this and spinning it in ways where he doesn't look evil. Which is impossible, but they're doing their best. So I know when he comes back, he will probably have tons of viewers and tons of donations out the fucking wazoo. Saying things like, keep your head up, Doc. Don't let cancel culture get you down. Uh, it's just a fucking cancel culture mob that, ca that came after you. You're a victim of that mob. That's it. Which is just so unhinged. I'm 100%. If you have been around the channel, I'm 100% against the cancel culture. This is why I was like, hey, we need we need proof, right? Holy crap, like, what are we talking about? We Are we really trying to cancel a guy without evidence? But in this case, Doc admitted it. Guys, it's a, now it's a completely different situation, okay? He admitted it, and uh, it's absolutely wild. I want to know your thoughts, and this is that video uh, where we talk about the receipts, and Bloomberg apparently comes on, and they actually spill the beans. We also had a ton of reaction from Nick Merckx, Tim the Tatman in this video as well. If you have not seen it, check it out. If you've already seen it, then check out the video on the left.